Hello, after much confusion, I would like to talk about the orchestration of the brain. So first, imagine you're at a concert, and the orchestra is playing one of Beethoven's symphonies. And suddenly, there's a mistake. The music doesn't sound right. And to fix this mistake, you need to know which instrument is not playing right. And to know that, you need to be aware what each instrument does or sounds like. Now, the same principle can be applied to the brain. The brain also has what I call a brain orchestra. But instead of the musical instruments, you have proteins. And these proteins also need to work together to create their own music or normal brain function. There are so many diseases like Parkinson's disease or DLB or Alzheimer's disease in which one of these proteins just does not function as it should. And again, to fix the problem, you need to know which is the protein that is not working. And then, to know that, you again need to know what is the function of each protein. Now, this brain orchestra is present in specified regions called the synapse. Synapse is just a fancy term for a region where two brain cells or neurons meet. You might be aware that the information traveling in the brain travels in the form of electrical or chemical signals. So you see the electrical signal traveling along neuron one, it reaches the synapse, and when reaching the synapse, it releases some chemicals, let's say a message. And this message is received by neuron two, which again fires electrical signal, and hence the information travels on. And now I study the brain orchestra that is at this synapse. And of all the proteins, there are two that have the same names as there are also in the symphony orchestra, piccolo and bassoon. And in my PhD, I chose to study the function of piccolo in this information transfer. I found out that piccolo actually controls the amount of chemical that is released in each information transfer. So basically, the, the strength of the signal that is transmitted from neuron one to neuron two. And this function becomes very important if you think of brain disorders related to depression or anxiety, because there you need to control how much excitement or depression is relayed on. And indeed, Piccolo is associated with disorders like bipolar disorders, where people suffer from episodes of mania to extreme depression. So my PhD is a tiny step towards what all we need to do to find the true function of the brain. But as they say, a journey of a thousand miles begins with the one step. Thank you.